Right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Little woman has a little man problem. Um, this is utterly hilarious, utter contrived nonsense. We talk about movies being for people, right? They are they're designed to have uh, an audience, and it would appear you just can't you just can't win. If you don't want to watch a movie, then you're labelled a sexist for some bizarre reason. It's baffling. So it would appear that all of the Hollywood trades, for the most part, are out in force on this one. This is uh, an archived one by Vanity Fair. We've also got one with the New York Times uh, and others. All basically saying, little women, no one's watching it because everyone is sexist. It must be sexism. It has to be sexism. Uh, or it could simply be that a man are just simply, for the most part, I guess, largely not interested in it. It doesn't have to be this big sweeping conspiracy theory. Um, why, why can't it just be that, you know, people are just not interested in it? So I thought we'd take a look at these together because these are, this is the sign of the times. We talk about how, like, say if a, if a male movie flopped, right? I don't run around saying, well, it's women afraid of, uh, you know, the patriarchy, or any of this garbage. Uh, women are afraid of men, or it's it's uh, it's women with uh, deep oppression uh, coming out in their, you know, how they choose to spend their money. You just you would never see it. Why can't it just simply be that men don't want to watch it? <laughs> uh, and this is the funny thing, right? It says many male awards season voters are skipping Greta Gerwig's adaptation, apparently because they think it's not for guys says one cast member. I just can't believe we're still having this effing discussion. Neither can I. Can't you just let people like what they like? It's baffling. It's utterly baffling. So we'll take a look at a few of these articles because they are funny. Uh, and then I've got another article which kind of just plots them down bit by bit, which again, very, very humorous, very, very funny. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this down below in the comment section, just before we even get started, to be honest. Uh, is there a movie that you've missed that you know, you missed for completely benign reasons. Nothing sinister, nothing malicious behind it, no bigotry. But people still think you're a bigot? Let me know, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll, have a, we'll have a census at the bottom, eh? Now it says that the first public screenings of Little Women were filled to capacity. But the distributors and award season strategists behind Greta Gerwig's new film were worried nonetheless. The audience was overwhelmingly comprised of women. Uh, and the voting memberships of various Hollywood award ceremonies are obviously not. So it sounds like you're more concerned that it won't be getting awards than anything else. Which is a... It's a bit... Labelling everyone as sexist and having a little man syndrome just because you want your film to get awards is a little bit... I don't know. I feel like that's quite sinister, really. It's like you're almost guilt-tripping people. Please give this an award, because if not, you're sexist. What? Uh, that trend may account for why the critically beloved adaptation of Louisa May Olcott's classic novel had an underwhelming showing in last week's awards nominations. The team behind the film hopes to reverse that by the time Oscar nomination voting opens in January 2nd. So yeah... It is literally you trying to guilt trip people into a voting for this for the awards. That is atrocious behavior. That's terrible. It's a completely unconscious bias. I don't think it's anything like a malicious rejection, said producer Amy Pascal. Still, she doesn't believe men gave the movie a shot. RSVPs for the first screening in October, as well as many others that Sony Pictures hosted around Los Angeles in recent weeks, was skewed about two to one in favour of women. So it wasn't just that, it, it was genuinely others as well. So why are you singling out this Little Women film as something which people are being sexist for? Uh, they were skewed uh, about, yeah, two to one in favour of women. I don't think that men came to the screenings in droves, let me put it that way, Pascal said. And I'm not sure when they got their screener DVDs that they wa- And I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure when they got the screeners that they even watched them. Come on. Come on. You are genuinely guilt-tripping people into checking out the film. Utter nonsense, right? 
And it continues, right? I think it's kind of... Oh, just scroll back down, sorry, because you can't see. Uh, I think it's kind of the same thing. It's a different bias. Voters think these kind of stories are important to me, and these kinds of stories are less important to me. Okay. But what? You can't guilt trip people into watching your film. If they don't want to watch it, they don't want to watch it. What happened is that we don't vote by gender. We vote by film and accomplishment. Uh, this was the uh, Lorenzo Soria, the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press. Uh, who gives out the globes. What the hell is going on here? Seriously. It's unbelievable that these are things uh, coming out in this day and age. And again, here we go. Uh, just scroll this down so you can see it. This is a hilarious one. Men are dismissing little women. What a surprise. The, the rejection... Of, so, remember, one article was he heavily focused on trying to guilt trip people into giving it awards. Because that's what it is. That's a guilt trip. The rejection of the latest screen adaptation of the beloved novel echoes a long-held sentiment towards women-centred narratives. What a surprise written by a, uh, a woman. Is this one written by a woman? I bet you it is. Oh, no, Anthony. Let's have a look at what you look like, Anthony. I can't. But I, I, I bet I know what you look like. I know the sort. I know the sort. Um, so, anyway... Little Women has a little man problem. This was the article from Vanity Fair. And this is another article, obviously, by uh, the New York Times. So reads the headline for an article on Vanity Fair's website this month about the latest screen adaptation of blah, 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 blah. The film has been lauded by critics and ostensibly possesses many of the qualities awards voters look for. Uh, an A-list cast, um, a respected actress turned director, and beloved source material. But so far, it has been noticeably underrepresented during award seasons. Two Golden Globes, blah, 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 blah. This is all part. <laughs> this is all part of a of a of a, a a press tour. It's a PR spin. It's a push for awards. You're genuinely trying to guilt trip people. I ca I can't. What? While the box office numbers for its release on Wednesday suggest the movie has found a decent audience, it placed third behind the new Star Wars latest Jumanji and opening day. That unconscious bias has seemed to trickle down to the casual male viewer as well. If Twitter is any indication, the New York Times, uh, if Twitter is any indication, the New York Times critic Janet Mazin t recently tweeted her surprise at the actively host the active hostility about little women from men I know, love, and respect. Provide the goddamn evidence. She also described the movie's problem with men. What? She also described the movie's problem with men as very real. Someone tweeted in response, it's not a problem, we just don't care. So what's wrong with that? <laughs> uh, in 2019, this attitude seems like history repeating itself. Th that people have simply looked at something and gone, ah, it's not for me, we don't really care, that's fine. So I won't watch it. Would you rather them watch it and then review it really poorly? That seems like a very, very warped outlook to me. Genuine. What the hell? These goddamn people. Right, so anyway, I, I, can't, I can't get over these people. So like I said, news outlets have slammed male audiences for lack of interest in the Little Women adaptation. Um... I can't believe this. Right, so this obviously just highlights a, you know, a bunch of piece, bits and pieces here and there. Uh, we had the New York Times one. Um, yet that this concern even existed to begin with is disheartening. If many men haven't wanted to give it a chance because they don't think it's meant for them, we still have a way to go in considering all kinds of narratives about women to be deserving of thoughtful attention. That is a very strange outlook from people that you know, on one hand, outrightly turn around and say, well, we don't care what you think because it's not for you. So, you know, me, 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 piss off. Uh, to now say, well, we care what you think. You should have watched it. When it suits it? That's so bizarre. Uh, Dear men who are afraid to see little women, you can do this. Oh, my God. But I am convinced that the screenings reflected not merely a man problem, but also a society problem. Men would see little women... If they were given permission to go see Little Women. Men need to be reassured again and again. And there are all kinds of ways to be a man. And one kind involves watching Amy and Joe tearfully make up after Amy nearly drowns in the ice skating pond. Could you be a Little Women man and not even know it? 
I wish you would find out, open yourself to the idea that messages of devotion, kindness and caring are not the purview of women alone. Men, men are well aware of kindness and caring, uh, devotion. These are... I mean, these are historically male traits as well, like a, a loving, devoted husband. A caring, providing husband. But now that it suits your narrative in this third wave feminist society that we live in, you're going to knock it on its head and twist it round to just being a women trait. When hilariously, it's all the third wave feminists that don't want to get married and, you know, have any of that devotion for themselves anyway. Laughably hypocritical. Uh, little women, men, you need to go. You can do it, guys. You can politely glom onto your wives' wine club viewings, or you can go alone. Uh, or better yet, you can casually suggest that you and your crew grab a few beers and then go watch the March family darn some socks in their sitting rooms. Jesus Christ. Look, ladies and gents, you, you can't guilt trip people into watching a movie. At the end of the day, you just can't. If, if, if this film is not for everyone, and that's okay... That's fine. It's all right. You know, not every male movie is for everyone either. There are <laughs> there are plenty of male films which utterly bomb at the box office. And we don't get these articles. Why is it one rule for one, none for the other? I just don't understand why this is something which goes on. I mean, I do. I know. But this is just, it's laughable. It's genuinely laughable. But there are some outlets which have kind of come on to the defence, right? So contrary to the popular assertion that men have an inherent issue with the premise of the story or its contents, the film has been well received by male audiences, as evidenced by the numerous and overwhelmingly positive reviews given to the film by various male critics. A more likely scenario was posited to Vanity Fair by actor Tracy Letts, who portrays Mr Dashwood in the film, is that audiences have just seen too many versions of Little Women. That's the seventh adaptation. You know, we're not saying that about all these other films which keep coming out that we've seen many, many times before. People are not just saying, oh, it's, you know, it's sexism. Most of the time people just say, well, we've seen it, you know. It's just tired now. But when it suits your narrative, it's okay to say it's sexism, yeah? Please, come on. You do yourself a disservice. It's laughable. It's a laughable argument. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so do leave them down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Um, I've got a video coming up in, um, hopefully, Tuesday. We'll see when I can get it all edited. Uh, it's a Hellraiser Event Horizon connection video. I hope you do all enjoy it. It's a return to my former style of videos, I guess. Uh, to all those that keep crying out for it, support it, because it shows me that you want those ones uh, in future. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. We're Miss Age. Take care.